What's up, my brothers from another mother? So today's video, we're getting into another one on the blockchain and cryptocurrency. I wanted to, um, or I want to continue to keep providing this information to you because I believe that it is going to change the world in the future. Um, one of the things that came up often in my reluctance to get into the blockchain and specifically dealing with cryptocurrencies was uh, the notion that there was items with theft and especially regulation. I'm going to talk about regulation in a minute, but for theft, as far as that goes, these things are called a nano ledger. Okay, they look like that. Uh, you open them up, it's basically a USB. I've talked about these before. If you buy one of these, do not buy it from eBay or Craigslist. Uh, there's been stories reported of these things uh, being ordered from Ledger. They basically hack it, they put it back in the packaging and they ship it over. And even when you think your crypto is safe on here, they can steal it from you. So buy it directly from the manufacturer uh, or probably Amazon from a verified uh, service provider. I will leave a link below where you can find these. Certainly check it out. Um, the second thing that was a problem for me, especially which prevented me from getting into crypto for a while, uh, was the regulatory issues when it comes to the government. I've seen this movie before. In fact, let me just minimize this over here. This conversation with Andreas Antonopoulos with the Senate of Canada about Bitcoin. I think this is about two years old. I've lived this movie before. I've seen this movie before. This is almost two hours of him talking to complete, um, I'm just going to say idiot regulators and policymakers for the government. Um, I had experienced myself with my own business when the banks and credit card companies and government thought that it would be a good idea to regulate our industry. And then they went with some sweeping changes that really at the end of the day didn't serve the customer any better and made things cost more for them with no more protection. So um, I'm very skeptical of government. I've mentioned this before on my channel. If you're new, hey, you know, heads up, FYI, that's how I feel about it. But um, again, I've lived this movie before, I've seen it. So their argument in this entire thing, and you can check it out if you just go and search Andreas Antonopoulos, Canadian Senate. Their argument usually ties around well, what about crime? What about money laundering, taxes and terrorism? Like, how do we monitor and protect the public from those potential threats or risks? And I'll start by saying this again. There's nothing that's funded more terrorism, crime, money laundering. I mean, the way financial institutions are set up in North America, or, you know, throughout the Western world even, is essentially as a money laundering outfit. They, they find way, ways to steal from the public. Um, with the way that they control currency, they print currency, they inflate it, they deflate it, they set the monetary policy. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. So fiat currency, I think, is going to die over time. One of the good things about the cryptocurrency markets is they're going to keep the banks and credit card companies and the government honest uh, because it's mostly, for the most part, decentralized. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to go away, but there are risks when it comes to regulatory issues, which I'm going to show you right now. Uh, these regulatory issues that I've gone through are not stopping me from uh, playing in the blockchain and cryptocurrency, but what they are doing is they're allowing me to enter informed with my eyes wide open, which is why I'm sharing this video with you guys right now. So um, I made some notes here on my other screen. Uh, 102.27 is where we're set. Before I hit play here, before he gets into the next question from this particular regulator, which will speak volumes, um, he's basically calling out to the Senate to say, let the market regulate itself. We will solve our, all pro our own problems. It's decentralized. For more info on that, watch the whole video as to why he explains it in very simple terms. But what I want to show you is, is a segment from a senator uh, who clearly shows intent to regulate. So let me show you that. I'm hoping that the market is allowed to develop these solutions. Going forward, my colleagues, uh, you know, uh, Senator Black raised it with respect to um, breathe in time, and you indicated this as well. But what would be a suitable uh, time frame for us to be able to look? I mean, obviously, this is evolving, this is developing. Uh, however, we, uh, we believe that there has to be some sort of regulations put in place to govern, uh, similar to what we've done now with the Internet in terms of uh, privacy and in terms of uh, requests for information and so forth. Um, with respect to the breathing time, and if we were to enact some sort of legislation, in your give us your opinion as to what that would look like uh, to govern Bitcoin and its transactions. 
So I'm not going to bother playing the rest of it. You can watch the video for yourself, but I wanted to show you that segment because it demonstrates intent to regulate. The government uh, is a self-preservation entity. It wants to protect itself, be big, and have the vote of the public to continue its agenda. There's no doubt about that. I mean, you guys can argue that if you want, but you'd be wrong. So um, they need to control the blockchain and um, basically cryptocurrencies in some way or fashion. Now, the whole notion that we need uh, this many cryptocurrencies, let me just minimize this here. What do we have? 1,384. The notion that we need over 1,384 cryptocurrencies is nuts. We don't need all this shit. We don't need probably about 95, 99% of these. Um, they're completely unnecessary, and a lot of these won't be here in about five to 10 years. So um, there's gonna be one clear winner in the future. I don't know what that's gonna be or what that's gonna look like, but what I, but what I know from what I've gathered is we're probably sitting around where the internet was in 1993 to 1905-ish. Uh, at that time, we had shitty search engines like AltaVista. Um, we didn't have Google, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have uh, Amazon, we didn't have the big market players that dominate the market space today. So with what we're looking at right now, it's still very early. Bitcoin may not even be here in 10 years, I don't know. Uh, so it's still very, very early. So this is gonna change very quickly, but what I can't, oh, market cap's over 800,000, or sorry, 800 <coughs> billion dollars now. Wow, this will be a trillion dollars probably within about a month, interesting. Okay, so let's go back here. Um, things will be different in the future, so let's just, leave that at that. Um, regulation's going to play a part of it. What kind of regulation are we going to get? I don't know. Let me actually show you one other part on that tab over here. Uh, 132.40. There it is, 132.40. Now, before I start that, uh, my note here, Senator says the banks won't let this go by without reacting. 132, and I think he's right. Here we go. It's the best I got. Banks in the world, I don't think that the banks are, are will able uh, will let this go by without reacting. Uh, I realize that this is quite successful. Uh so at this stage, he's, I mean, it's a longer question, but I just kind of wanted to get to the point of what they were talking about. Um, they're obviously concerned about how they're going to collect sales tax and how they're going to control the currency, because right now it's not very controllable for them because it's decentralized, which is a threat. And anything that's a threat, to financial institutions, governments, and banks, they will try to control. Uh, one way they're trying to control it right now is they're trying to use something called Ripple, which is basically run by many financial institutions. I know uh, in Canada, Royal Bank has played a, a pretty large part in creating this. Uh, it's currently the number two currency. I don't think it's gonna fly for very long. Um, I know that many of the people in this market right now, well, it's not going to fly right now, let's say that. Many of the people in the market right now don't believe or trust the financial institutions or the banks. I mean, that's part of the reason why uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency and Bitcoin was created, was to solve the problem of what happened with the dishonest banking system and government in 2008. So um, regulation's coming. Am I worried about it? Did I sell all my crypto? No, I haven't. Um, I still maintain that you should take a look at it. You should get involved. Uh, put about 5 to 10% of your entire um, retirement portfolio savings into it. Understand how it works. It is going to change the world in the future. How? I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't wave in my magic wand and see what shit looks like in 5 or 10 years. But regulation is coming. The good thing is they can't really regulate the blockchain. What they can do is they can regulate choke points where you convert your fiat currency, so that's paper money, to cryptocurrency. Uh, we have these exchanges throughout the world. There's a ton of them um, where you can buy your crypto. The gateway is always going to be paper money. Then you buy into usually Bitcoin if you want to buy altcoins. And then you can transfer it to another exchange uh, where you can trade, you know, the 1,300 or so cryptocurrencies. And you can make a lot of money. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you. If you can figure out the patterns and you pay attention to the trends, you can make quite a bit of money quickly. But uh, you can also lose it all very quickly too. So don't put anything in that you're not willing to lose. Is regulation coming? Yes, regulation is coming. How are they going to regulate it? Um, well, like I said, they're really concerned about taxes, terrorism, money laundering, and crime. That's a narrative that they're going to punch out in the public. Uh, I haven't heard a lot of it in the news or media, but then again, I don't listen to much of the news or media. But at some point, it reaches me through places like Facebook or Twitter or somebody leaves a comment. But um, we're going to see some kind of regulation probably. And 
it's pretty easy for them to regulate if i'm being honest like even on my exchange where i uh bring in canadian dollars to the exchange to buy crypto they have my driver's license a copy of a utility bill a copy of my passport a copy of e like pretty much everything so they know everything about me they know who i am they know how much i've transferred in and bought um from that point in i don't think that their tracking systems and mechanisms are that advanced um, you know, you should pay your taxes, of course, if you live in a place that requires you to declare uh, the capital gain and the taxes, uh, disclosure, whatever. But um, I think you're going to see a lot more narrative on the news and media about things like, well, we have to regulate this because of crime, money laundering and terrorism. Guys, at the end of the day, nothing has funded more of that than the U.S. dollar. And I've said that before and some people got pissed off in the comments. But, you know, the closer you get to the truth, more people, you know, the more that people will scream about it. So. There you have it. I hope that video answers or uh, offers you some tips today. If you want to get into cryptocurrency, I've said this before, um, use Coinbase. It's super easy. It's just uh, coinbase.com. Um, there's a really good opportunity right now. I think uh, today is uh, January the 6th. There's a really good opportunity right now, I think, to get into Bitcoin if you want, because it hasn't moved much in the last 30 days. In the last week, it's up 25% but it hasn't moved much in the last 30 days. So um, you're probably going to, and by the way, this isn't Canadian dollars. If you sign up for Coinbase with the link that I leave you below, um, you will get $10 worth of Bitcoin. I will get $10 worth of Bitcoin. So there you go. If you want to download the app on your phone or on your desktop, now's a good opportunity to get started, I think. Uh, also, I really like the uh, concept of Litecoin and Ethereum. Bit Bitcoin Cash, I don't fully understand yet, but uh, I keep hearing a lot of chatter, but that potentially... Uh, growing quite a bit this year. But uh, there you have it. You spend uh, $130 or more in Canadian dollars, you get 10 bucks worth free of Bitcoin, or it's $100 US. Link to my affiliate link is below. Sign up if you want to get involved. If you've got any questions or topic suggestions in the comments, please do so and leave them. Thanks for checking out today's video. Have an amazing one. Peace.